So the, the, the thing with me was that um, I told myself November 1st I was going to come back to potting and we were going to come back to reacting and speaking on the culture and doing all of these things. And I get it, you know. This is what I want to do. And I got uh, woke up in the middle of the night, got a phone call. I didn't believe it. I look, and they say take off, got killed. And I'm like, come on, man, there's no way I can take off. I look down the timeline, <clears throat> and I start putting together all of the information that they're saying. Seems pretty definitive and definite that uh, take off from the Migos was in Houston. And there was a dice game going on at a bowling alley um, where they had like an event. They have they put up like a, a post that um, people saying that there was this whole, everybody went together, they linked up out of Houston, and then a dice game occurred. And they said, you know, the stories that they say and all allegedly, which I, I hate this point, that's not really what I wanna talk about, but allegedly the game was going on, uh, back and forth happened with Quavo and somebody else, it got a little wicked. And then somebody uh, pulled out man, um, and shot. And then when the argument go and take off got up, it's like he got hit um, by a shot directly in his head and died immediately. So this is what they're saying. Everybody is going on the internet. Yo, take off was the coolest one. Take off was so calm. That's what I want to talk about. That, yeah. He was. He was the calmest Migo. Everybody always oh, laid back. Oh, Offset and Quavo, they in the light, all of that. But this is the point. You could be the calmest. You could be not with the rah-rah. You could be totally out of the way and still be into a scenario like this. So I want to speak about the 99% rule. That's what I want to talk about, the 99% rule. I just spoke about this on my Instagram, but I want to talk about it. The 99% rule is simple. You could be in the club and 99% of the club is love. You go to the hood and 99% of the hood is love. You go to your block and 99% of it is love. But then there's 1% that's in the back. That's like, mm, I don't know, man. you're watching. You're winning too much money. That girl is watching you too much. They insta story in. There's too much negativity. You, you not understand. It's 99%. Yo, I love you. Yo, I shout to you. Yo, rock with you. Hey, 99% love. But there's one person in the back that's creeping, that's watching. And they uncomfortable that you there. They uncomfortable that you there. You're not peeping it because it's 99% love. <clears throat> but what you got to grasp is that, that that 1% is in every single room. There's a 1% at your job. You could be a whole working person, 9 to 5. 9 to 5, you working. Everything, you out of the way. Nobody's bothering you at work. But... What you got to remember is that there's that 1% that at all times is watching you and they not happy. They not happy at all. They not happy you there. They not happy you doing good. They not happy you got money. They not happy about any damn thing that's going on with you. They are not happy. That's the 1%. And that 1% sometimes you don't know where they at in their life that they could really be on it. They could really, really be on it and you not even understand what's going on, but they watching you. You thinking it's cool, you at work, 99% of the job loves you, you mess up one day, that one person write the write up on you. You go out, all of your friends, you like your friends, your relationship, 99% of y'all love y'all relationship, but there's 1%. My whole point is, no matter what you think, there is someone out there that is not happy with what's going on with you. So my point is this. Why make yourself so accessible to where that you can't control the way that every single person around you when you can't control is around with the good intentions? My point that's frustrated with rappers is 
You make so much money to beat the game. You know what beat the game is? To my words, how we word it, where I'm from, beat the game is you leave the hood. You work, you beat all of the crazy boys, you beat the police, you beat the, the hurdles of school, you beat all your old friends, you beat the angry family members, you beat all of the all of the things that you needed to do to get out, you beat the game. You beat the game. You won. But my anger is how do you beat the game and then go back to the old boards that you done passed already? Takeoff is Takeoff is dead. 28 years old, probably worth 20, 30 million dollars, probably 20 million, whatever it is. He's dead. He doesn't get a second try at this. Everybody's like, yo, take off is so cool. Yo, he the coolest Migo. Facts. The tough part for me, Quavo seeing his nephew die in front of him. Whoa. Offset is going to be burning. He ain't talked to them in months, I'm assuming. They fell out. Now, Offset got a... Now they got a link, and then it's like that whole bond they missed out on the last couple months with each other. They inseparable for years, and now they... This shit is nasty. I don't know what to say, what to do. I don't know how to get it across to everybody, but rappers, if some rapper is looking at this and listening for some chance, and they like, yo, Punch, I listen, I rock with you, Punch. You always be talking the right shit. You're never being extra. You're being just straight up. You're being authentic. The 99% rule is real. No matter where you are, no matter what you are doing, 99% can be love. But that 1% will take you out of this world. I don't know how many times we got to see it. I don't know how many times we got to be reminded. I don't know how many times, but the reality is what it is. That 1% will change things permanently. Rest in peace, take off. I don't know all of the family names. Quavo, Offset, all of the affiliates, QC, P, Coach K, Cardi, everybody that's around that, all of that shit where they was beefing, that shit is bullshit. Because now it's family. Take this time to text somebody that you was kind of beefing with that it ain't really that important. Take this time to tap back into somebody that matters. Take this time. Because let me tell you something. It can get ridiculous. 